This Road to Prosperity video is sponsored by Vandergraaff. Visit Vandergraaff.com to learn more about how their advanced drum motor technology reduces maintenance costs while delivering reliability and longevity for belt conveyors operating in the harshest of environments. Yeah, on the infrastructure front, Nathan, with uh, the IIJA bill there, it seemed like yes. we've been waiting mode for, for quite a while. And, and when you say you're starting to feel that a little bit, maybe you can enlighten us a little bit. What, what does that look like right now? Um, and are you pretty bullish about the, the runway forward tied to the, the $1.2 trillion bill you just mentioned? Very much so. Um, very excited about it. Um, I spent 10 years of my life lobbying on Capitol Hill to try and get a long term federally funded, fully funded transportation infrastructure bill. And where we're sitting right now, we're finally seeing some of the mega projects come online. Some of the two, three, four, five hundred million dollar projects that are coming online. Um, you know, probably 85 percent of our revenue comes out of the state of Missouri. Um, we've got one of the probably fifth or sixth largest networks of interstate highways in the U.S. Um, and so some of that uh, DOT spending coming on, we're seeing it. We're bidding some of the large projects. Also here in Missouri, the Missouri legislature passed a $2.8 billion bill to uh, fully fund a rebuild of Interstate 70 between Kansas City and St. Louis. And we couldn't be more excited about that. Um, the two biggest industries in Missouri, agriculture and what we do, construction materials. I think we're probably the third largest cement producing state in the union with five active cement mills. Uh, having a massive investment in our biggest transportation corridor, getting agricultural products out of the center of the state to our multimodal ports in Kansas City and St. Louis, you know, that multi-year reinvestment also has us very bullish. That's a construction project that'll probably go from 24, 25 to 2030 and a uh, huge economic impact for the state of Missouri and especially for folks like us that are in the construction materials. Yeah, that's going to make you feel confident even if residential or non-residential decides to to go downward or not live along that same growth path. Um, so what's your outlook in those markets? You shared kind of what you're seeing and feeling right now, but do you see growth opportunities there in tandem with things on the infrastructure side? I, you know, I, as I said just a minute ago, I, the softening in residential doesn't have me really concerned. You know, I think um, I still have PTSD from, from taking over as CEO and the end of 04, first part of 05, I had, you know, about two good years before the world came to an end. Uh, and having lived through seeing res go down 85%, having seen, you know, my business get cut in half, having lived through that, you know, we've largely underbuilt in, in residential. And so um, the softening that we're seeing, like I, I said, I think it's going to be fairly soft and hopefully of shorter duration than what I would expect a little while ago. Um, certainly some dislocations in non-res, but I think that the offset, I mean, people don't realize outside of this industry that we literally starved the nation for transportation and infrastructure funding for the last decade. And, you know, finally having that fully federally funded bill coming online, seeing the projects come to market, I, it, it gives me a better outlook for, got better visibility into 24 right now, and I feel pretty good about it. Thank you to Vandergraaff for sponsoring this Road to Prosperity video. To learn more about how their advanced drum motor technology reduces maintenance costs while delivering reliability and longevity for belt conveyors operating in the harshest of environments, visit Vandergraaff.com.